One of the different alternatives that arises as feed for cattle in the face of forage deficits at critical times of the year, especially in regions with high livestock production such as the Alta Lanura, Piedmont Llanero and other low tropic areas, is a variety of sweet sorghum for forage that, compared to corn silage, provides different comparative advantages. Since it offers an increase in the availability of forage at times when it is not available fresh, reduces live weight losses and generates additional income from the production of meat and milk. In 2019, we started some activities of a project called Agro Silvo Pastorals that placed the part of agro, the part of crops, and the part of trees and free pasture thinking about the grass that would serve as food for livestock as pasture. Then, we started with the idea of encouraging producers to have food for the dry seasons, the crop that allowed us to do that was a material that we have released called Sorghum JJT18. It was released for that. It was almost not being adopted with the products of the region and the project has as a central idea to encourage producers to plant this sorghum, to know the benefits of this material. At this moment, we are at the Los Almendros farm. Bajo Curia Trail, from San Juan de Arama, Meta. We are in the cultivation of JJT-18 forage sorghum and at the same time we sowed pasture due to the late sowing of the seed, and soon the summer will arrive and it was time to sow the pasture. Hernando, good morning, good morning engineer. As you observe we are between an excellent crop of only JJ. Are you happy with the development of the crop? Very happy, very happy because this crop tells us that we should plant sorghum forage JJT18. For the implementation of food for our animals. The main idea was to try to link the associations, we began to visit the sensations of several municipalities such as Puerto Gaitan, Puerto Lopez, and San Martin, which were the first municipalities that we covered with this project. We interacted with them, we made technical talks saying the benefits of the material, and that was what we wanted with the project. With that we linked a number of producers, about 18 producers to the project and with that what we did was to be pending, to indicate all the part of planting to harvesting. Before, we had pastures, but they were of low quality and very scarce. So we decided to make the land available to plant this crop for the good of the Ariari Association and its members producers. In this sorghum crop we saw the need that comes to us every year for the summer. The pastures are scarce, and the animals are the ones that in the summer get very thin. The difficulty was to make the land available, because it is such a small farm, it always caused us some inconveniences with the producers. We needed to move the cattle to another farm in order to be able to grow crops. Obviously, since it was a material that was almost unknown to the producers, and that has a behavior a little different from that of corn, it always caused us some inconveniences with the producers. Some producers who at the beginning were very skeptical with the reception of having planted the material, some even thought they had lost their money because the behavior of the material is initially very slow but days later about 40 days after having been established the material begins to develop and to reach heights above 
and we have had productions above 40 tons of harvested forage, which is excellent in our region. Remember that we are in the Colombian Orinoquia, in the Piedmont, where the soils are very poor, they are acidic and with all these conditions of soil and climate we have managed to obtain productions that in other parts of the country as they are richer in nutrients, we have nothing to envy. We are achieving very good productions, excellent productions. Well, the results, seeing the crop in the list in which it is, are very satisfactory for the good of all of us as producers as well as for AgroSavia who is giving us a hand and supporting us with their agronomists to get to have a crop in this way. Don Hernando, another important thing is that after we harvest this, you will be left with this material that is the pasture, you will be left with an established meadow. Do you believe or are you happy with the behavior of these pastures? Look how they look. Yes, of course, these pastures, thanks to the good fertilizers and amendments that were applied to the soil, we see these pastures of very good quality. We hope that when the grass is harvested, it will start to grow more vigorously and you will have an excellent property. So that in this coming dry season your cattle will also have food, not only from sorghum, but also from the grass. Yes, sir. One of the most important aspects of nutrition is to provide comfort to the animals, that the animals have something to eat but also that they have comfort where they are going to ruminate. So the crops as such are a source of food, to conserve food for critical periods. That is what sorghum does. The crop that is below, in stratum 1, which would be the herbaceous, which are the grasses, will be very well established because they will receive part of the fertilizer that we are applying to the crop. Obviously the pasture is also a crop, but in this case the fertilization is directed to sorghum and it will benefit the pasture. We have also seen that trees are the third component, a very important complement because they will provide the animals with some comfort and environment. In these climates, in the tropics, in this region, Temperatures can rise to more than 35 degrees with direct exposure and high relative humidity, which makes it difficult for an animal to behave very well and to have climatic stress. So the tree provides us with those conditions and we have made a lot of emphasis on that in that comfort condition, not in the food condition of the food tree. For food we are thinking about the crop and the pasture, and the tree was in the comfort part. That is why we have several arrangements, arrangements that go on the periphery of the paddock, arrangements that go inside the paddock or scattered trees within the pasture, that is what we have looked for. Whichever one the producer chooses will be welcome, but the idea is that the tree component is always involved. We as an association, the idea is to also collaborate with the producers in a ton that can be given to them for the benefit of all, They are the people who provide milk to the association. If you can have a task, have a task on your farm, then you will have the production, the food for the whole year for your animals. So how good it would be if all the producers had the opportunity to have crops. In fact, pastures should be managed as a crop, which is not what the farmer is doing, and if we improve pastures and not only pastures, but other forage crops, and we have better feed, the answers will be much better.
we will have higher production of meat or milk per hectare and we mitigate greenhouse gas emissions. We produce more and this relationship is much better for the environment. That is the hope we have for our cattle, these renewed pastures and grasslands. I wish the government would look at the countryside more, that more people would help us. Within this project, what we are looking for is for farmers like you, who are organized, to learn about the technology, to see that it is not so difficult and that, as you said, we can apply it and replicate it. We hope that next year many of your associates are already replicating this in their farms, that is the idea, so that they have their animals well nourished. If the producers were to implement all these crops and also that our pastures were silvopastoral, it would be very good, because the cattle would not be stressed by the summer, and it would be profitable for everything. I invite all producers that in one way or another, even with half a hectare, to begin to implement this sorghum crop, because it is a crop that has three harvests. It is cut after 60 days, it comes back and cuts. And after another 60 days, it comes back and cuts. So, it is a crop that can be used for three harvests and not like corn, which is only one harvest, there will be greater production. We think that cattle raising should begin to modernize, that is, to use the technological tools that have been generated and that it should be a cattle raising of extraction, that it should have long-term results, that it should be an economic activity that is profitable and that the producer should become a farmer, that he should feel the joy of being in the countryside and that he should have the same comforts as if he lived in a city. These comforts are obviously provided by the best income, the best social condition, because that is what we are aiming at. If we use this type of compliments, for sure being in the field will be very nice and we will have a country like ours that has enough area of producers with a lot of desire, it will be very good.